I'm Max and this is how to make this sign base. Okay, let's go straight ahead and make a harbor sign base. So add harbor and link it to your mixer. And if you have a sidechain, make a link it to your sidechain. How to sidechain in another video. And now let's make the baseline. Base. Well, that's a really a heavy base. Okay, just let's lower the octave. If we go to the frequency pitch, uh, if you frequency divider, if you look at the window in the top corner at four, four please, it will say minus 2400 cents, which is exactly two octaves lower. So it's the same as I would do this. Okay, if we want the sine base, because actually the sine base is the most strong base we can have. Um, because Harmer uh, operates um, with additive synthesis, we can just cut off every sine wave but the first one, because additive synthesis works like uh, it's creating. Um, how do you call it? Uh, tri wave uh, by adding several sine waves. So if we cut off this, we get a sine wave. <laughs> which is not that loud but it doesn't matter because our distortion is getting it loud let's add some bit jam hmm. Oh, sin, sun crush. So we're crushing the sine wave. <laughs> um, a little bit of harmonizer is nice on the bass, by the way. Uh, the amount and the width is deciding where it's adding the uh, the um, frequencies. So if you put that up here. Uh, the frequency over here is going to be um, exaggerated. Is, is that the right word? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> If we're pulling this here, this up, um, 
the note below the fundamental is going to be played. What I like to do is add either warming or heating compression to the bass. Uh, put it almost like 80% and compress the lows. Um, get away of get rid of the mids by compressing them, uncompressing them. And yeah, compress the highs a little bit. Um, if we choose to to add reverb to our bass, make sure that the damper is pretty pretty low. Decay is short. That will give the bass additional room. So, uh, yeah, we can add unison, but for the bass, maximum two additional voices. Unison is creating another voices with a little bit of detuning. So if we go to harmonic unison pitch, we can choose to do so that the lower notes aren't applied that much of detuning like that. But what I'm missing is a little bit of high end. Uh, if we go to mix and we choose to adjust the square wave, we have a different kind of nicer sound. Yeah. But it shouldn't sound so farty, so. <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. Try around a little bit, maybe a little bit part of it. Yeah, a little bit of part of Mendo is nice, I guess. Uh, yeah. Try around with the distortion. And yeah, with the unison configuration and the harmonizer. Yeah, and maybe blur. Oh, get rid of the blur. Doesn't matter. So I hope you learned something.